Hello, Game Boys and Game Girls. I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to uh, another pickups video. Uh, I didn't do one for July uh, because A, I was busy, and then also B, I didn't really get that much, both pickups and arrivals. But between July and August, I got quite a bit. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to start showing stuff off here. Um, and I'll try and, you know, color commentary however I can. <clears throat> so, uh, I had a friend who came over a few weeks ago and, um, brought some stuff with him. Uh, we hung out and played some games and had a really good time. And he had, he had been messaging me about some stuff that he was getting rid of, didn't want or need anymore. And so, anyway... He let me know about some stuff that uh, he had laying around and wanted to know if I wanted any of it. So, I got myself a backup Wii. Uh, I've got all the stuff with it, you know, power supply, the sensor bar and all that stuff. It's out in the other room because I was testing with it. Uh, one of the cool things, though, that it came with was the stand. Mine came with the stand. But it didn't have this little piece. So once I get this cleaned up, I may actually swap this out um, and put this stand underneath of my Wii uh, that I have actually set up because this is really nice and uh, will make that more stable on the TV stand that I have. Not sure why mine never, never came with that because I bought mine new, but what are you going to do? Uh... <clears throat> He also included a pair of Wiimotes and a pair of, oops, of nunchucks to go with that. And I also got a Wii Classic controller. So I finally have that. I have the Wii Pro controller, so to speak, with the little handles down the sides. But I did not have a Classic controller yet. So I got that. And then he also brought some games with him. So I got quite a bit here. <clears throat> um, he brought this uh, Slim Jim uh, demo disc of 989 Studios stuff. Um, which is kind of cool. I mean, I didn't have that yet. <clears throat> Um, Croc 2, which I did not have, and the next Tetris. Also, of course, Wii Sports came with the Wii itself. And then a whole bunch of Wii games here. We've got uh, Monster Hunter Try, No More Heroes 2, Resident Evil 4, GoldenEye 007, uh, MLB Power Pros 2008, Lego Batman, Driver Parallel Lines, and Driver San Francisco. The, uh, the Lego Batman is a duplicate, so I might donate that somewhere. Uh, the Resident Evil is a duplicate, and so is No More Heroes 2. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet. And Monster Hunter tries a duplicate, but I think this is going to go to my brother and his kids, because I suspect my nephews will like that. So, that is <clears throat> the stuff that I got, uh, the Wii stuff that I got from my friends. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, a couple of the little silicone jackets for the Wiimotes as well. He also offered me his old PSP, or, excuse me, PS2, but uh, it was a uh, uh, literally the very first model um, and even though he said it still worked uh, because those are not well known for their longevity um, I decided not to go for it but he did have a DualShock 2 which is great um, so this is only my second DualShock 2 and an official Sony memory card which I did not yet have I only have third party um, this Mad Cat's wireless controller with this gigantic dongle. Good grief, that is huge. Uh, 
But, uh, yeah, I'll have to clean that up and try it, see how it compares to my Logitech wireless pad. And then this set of <clears throat> component cables for the PS2. But this is a monster cable. So I already have a component cable for the PS2, but this is probably uh, a hair above what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and probably swap these out and, and use this instead because this is probably a better cable than what I have. And when I play PS2 and stream and that sort of things, this will probably give me a slightly better, better signal. <clears throat> Um, so that's all the stuff I got from my friend. <clears throat> uh, in the mail, I got this a few weeks ago, and that is the J N uh, Silent Bob Mall Brawl. This is the actual NES game that uh, was produced for the game, and so this is uh, still in the box and everything, and of course the card that comes from Limited Run. I'll go ahead and <clears throat> open this up real quick, just so we can... Uh, Take a look at this. And you can all see what is inside. Assuming I can get the plastic off, of course. But this looks like a fun beat em up and it's something I'm looking forward to getting the chance to play here. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. So this comes with uh, whoops, little insert here. Whoops, uh, and the uh, styrofoam, of course, to go with it. Which the insert is kind of cool because it's uh, a little bit fancier than the usual. Uh, strictly the styrofoam block as the spacer so that's kind of neat <clears throat> um, there's the back of the box with the uh, screenshots on it and um, you know info on the game itself of course it comes in a custom limited run dust protector which is cool Full color manual. Uh, there's the dog bone showing off there. Which is kind of cool that they did it that way because a lot of the later NES game manuals showed a dog bone controller instead of the standard square pads or rectangular pads. And of course, you know, instructions and, and sprite rips and stuff like that showing the heroes and villains and all of that stuff. And of course, <clears throat> the cartridge itself, which came in multiple variants, but I ordered the green one because I thought it looked cool. Looks like there's some something sticky here on the side. Must have been just, uh, or if that's from the, oh, a little bit of adhesive from the, the sleeve there. So anyway, pretty cool, and even has a little sticker on the back there with instructions. So uh, that's pretty cool. I will definitely have to pop that into the AVS and give that a whirl, possibly stream that. We'll see how that goes, but that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Jay and Bob's, or Jay and Silent Bob's Mole Brawl. So that was one of the one of the items I got in the mail the last couple of months. Well, maybe I'll be able to close the box up here. Here we go. All righty. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I went to. I went to go and get some stuff. 
a few weeks ago, picked up a, a handful of games between the pawn shop and the uh, uh, Goodwills and stuff, and so I got Uncharted 3 for PS3, Bioshock Infinite for PS3, Tomb Raider, the reboot, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition, then for PSP I got World Series Poker, and for Xbox 360, I got Infinite Undiscovery, which is uh, looks like an RPG of some kind, like an action RPG from Square Enix. So, pretty cool. A few odds and ends there. <clears throat> got a couple more things in the mail. Speaking of limited run again, uh, I did finally get my copy of Streets of Rage 4. Uh, so that came, along with, of course, the uh, card that they always come with, this cool poster, um, which is kind of a neat item, or not a, yeah, I guess it's a, it's sort of a poster, but it's also sort of a newsletter. So you've got information about all these different uh, releases that they've done. And then, yeah, Club O Fun News, I guess is what it's called. So, newsletter, July August 2020 issue. And then, of course, because the the um, shipment was delayed, they sent out a CD copy of the soundtrack to all of the people who bought the limited run version. It's not a complete soundtrack; it's only 18 tracks, and I want to say the soundtrack has over 30 songs on it, something like that. Yeah, exclusive track selection. So anyway, it was still nice to get and uh, cool that they included that. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Oh, I also got, um, let's see, Best Buy was clearing out their stock of Saivariar Delta for the PS4. I already had the Switch version that I had pre-ordered through uh, Dispatch many moons ago. But since Best Buy had these, I decided to go ahead and pick this up and uh, doubled up on this so that I could compare the two whenever it is that we play this and do uh, Shmup Club Game of the Month. And another game that I got here through Super Rare Games is Graceful Explosion Machine. This is an indie shoot 'em up and was actually the first uh, first shmup to appear on the Switch early in the console's life via the eShop. So, of course, they come in these little envelopes here. And this comes with the uh, game itself, plus these little collector cards similar to what Limited Run does and uh, Super Rare Games sticker. So another physical shmup to add to the collection <clears throat> and their little uh, you know card that they sent. Mm, excuse me. Um, picked up a few things while I was out uh, a couple three weekends ago. So once again, I stopped at Goodwill and managed to score some DS games. So we got Casual Mania, Wheel of Fortune, Balloon Pop, which looks like it's sort of a, I don't know, like a puzzle bobble, sort of. Bejeweled 3, I am a sucker for Bejeweled. And Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. So add those to the DS collection. <clears throat> and then I stopped at another Goodwill. And picked up a couple of things. So we got Sled Storm on PS2. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory on PS2. I was surprised I didn't have this, but must be one of those when 
I found it in the wild. It either wasn't complete or the disc was in terrible shape. This happened to be neither. Wheel of Fortune again. And Beautiful Katamari, which was a nice find. So a few goodies there. Then I went over to GameStop and picked up a couple of things. And uh, I got finally got the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. I also bought the Switch version of The Wonderful 101. And finally picked up Astral Chain, which I've been wanting to get for a while and just hadn't got around to. Um, because, of course, I'm a Platinum Games fan. And I, I remarked to the cashier that I thought it was funny that I was buying my, the Wii U version of my favorite Switch game and the Switch version of my w favorite Wii U game <laughs> uh, at the same time. So anyway, uh, that, was, that was a good, uh, a good day, a good buy. <clears throat> and finally, uh, big shout out to uh, one of the directors of Art of Generation, who uh, hit me up and or hit several of us up in uh, in chat and was asking about whether some of us needed some stuff from a game store that he went to. And he happened to come across something that I was looking for, and it was at a really good price, uh, something that has been kind of expensive the last several years, and that is Mega Man for the NES. So I finally have the original Mega Man on the NES. Uh, it was at a much lower price than what I normally see it. So I decided to jump at it. He also included this really cool wooden sticker. It is a wooden, uh, a small piece of wood, but it's been um, sort of like wood burning, but it's like printing. I'm not exactly sure how you do it, but it has... Uh, a little backing on there because it does have adhesive on there but it's the RF Generation site logo and so that's a pretty cool little item uh, that he apparently someone he had some of these made and has been sending them out to people who he's done trades and, and stuff with so anyway huge thanks uh, to Bickman 2K for hooking me up with a copy of Mega Man and for this awesome little uh our generation logo sticker that's really cool so that is the that's the whole uh stack of stuff that i had to show for july and august like i said uh, july was pretty slow i only got a couple things in the mail uh but then through the end of july and into the beginning of august things really picked up and I ended up with quite a bit. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything in here that that uh, you, uh, you know, suggest I should play right away. I already know. Uh, I already knew, knew that I wanted to get uh, GoldenEye 007 because my buddy, uh, he and I had actually played this before when he brought it over to my house one time. And uh, so I know for sure that I like the Wii remake of that game and might have to find its way into my rotation sooner rather than later. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this uh, in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you can see more of my videos in your YouTube feed. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where you can check out my Game Boy reviews. That is GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. Also check out Nira's channel. He provided the over Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro for a lot of my videos. And he's got a bunch of other great chiptune and game music covers as well. So please have a listen to that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. And game on.